everyone, so today's video is going to be another watch me do my makeup video, number two. You guys seem to really like my other one that I did where I literally just watch me do my makeup and I just chat along. If you guys do enjoy this one, let me know in the comments. It's, it's so helpful to see what kind of videos you really, really like. Also, I did play it around with my camera a bit. It's got different settings on, so I want you guys to let me know if you see a difference. I see a difference in like, the fluidity it's like more real life I don't know let me let me know what you guys think my face is bare I've washed it and I'm um, already have some of my skincare it's actually like 12 and I washed my face and did all my skincare in the morning I'm just going to touch up a bit with the ordinary rose of oil it seems dark but like that's my true color like this is my true form it's not the camera's not really washing me out like this is my actual skin color like the closest to what I really am in real life like some in some videos I, uh, I appear a bit lighter and I really don't like that I just want it to be like true to my skin color touching up where I'm at the driest the next thing that I'm going to do is going to take some of this Estee Lauder eyebrow pencil this is called the double wear Stay in place brow lift duo. It has a highlighter side to it, but I rarely use it. I've seriously been hating doing my brows lately. I just feel like I don't know how to do it anymore. I like the brow pencil, like I really like the product, but like I wish it had a spoolie on the other end instead of like a highlighter. I don't use it ever. Like the highlighter is so, so pointless, like it doesn't even like come up. I normally film in my kitchen, but I can't today because my sister and my mum are watching a movie downstairs. And to be honest, when I'm filming, I just like to be in a silent room or like if I'm filming downstairs, I find that I need to film when there's no one because otherwise I get so frustrated and then it ruins my filming experience and I don't want that to happen. So I just need to be more, I just need to plan better like when no one's here just to film then. I don't know how I feel about these brows. I'm then going to take the Estee Lauder Brow Now same place brow gel comes with like a um, spoolie kind of thing and I'm just gonna like use this as my spoolie and like really like comb through the product and blend it out make it look as natural as possible this is literally gonna keep your brow hairs in place I'm now gonna use some of this NYX scotch covered concealer as you guys know I've been loving this to carve my brows out I've really been into lately doing product reviews as well. You guys know that I have been uploading every day now, so Monday to Friday every week. Um, and it's been so fun, like I don't get tired of it. I just, I'm just constantly planning, constantly taking notes, looking at what other videos to film. And it's just, oh God, I can't even explain it. And I feel like since I've been um, uploading more, I feel like it's, kind of bringing us closer and closer as a community and as a family it might sound so weird to some of you but I can't explain how it feels I feel like we're having more conversations every now and then and, and more interaction with you guys on snapchat and on youtube and I'm seeing more of you regular people like that come to watch my videos always and it's really nice to see like obviously you don't have to watch every single one of my videos I don't mind that like this I understand that you might like a particular type of video that I like I do and then you might not like some others that I do but it's just nice to see just at least one person out there that really wants to see my videos and it just makes me so happy and it makes me so happy to be able to like have a chat with you guys and talk about makeup and I was just having a conversation about religion with one of you guys on Snapchat. If you are watching, hi. <laughs> I don't know, I just love it. I, I really enjoy it. 
and it, it truly makes me happy and <clears throat> the fact that some of you say that my videos make you happy especially when if you're like going through some hard times and you're like having a bad day and it kind of lifts your spirits it makes me so happy and it makes me doing these videos worthwhile um, and I enjoy it like I, I truly love doing these videos for you but yeah, I just wanted to say that because I really feel like we're getting closer and closer. Mm -hmm. like, like the more videos I've been posting, I feel like the bond between us has grown. Hmm. See, like when I carved them, I just need to shape this side a bit better. Like, it looks a bit flat. It has no life in it. I'm now going to take some of my Wet n Wild Photo Finish Concealer. I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. Kind of like your primer slash blank canvas kind of product. Today I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty palette. I'm going to take the colour Bay. I've truly been enjoying using this palette so I'm sorry if you're sick of me using it but I love it so much. I'm just using that colour just to set my concealer and kind of like brighten it. I want like a lot of brown in the crease and like a pink, like a I'm going to use this shade right here. I know I want to use this colour today, so I'm going to work like with like brown colours in the crease. So I'm first going to use sandalwood. Sandalwood is this colour right here. I'm just going to buff this. Just like all in the crease really. Yeah, like I definitely like love prefer this because this is my true colour. I never really used to touch the camera settings. So I never really knew how, but I've been like doing more research into it because I obviously want to make my videos look a bit better. And I want them to be like true to my skin. Like I I want my skin to appear like truly to what it appears. Cause I watched this video from Kosher Beauty and she did a whole video about I'm, put, I'm sure you guys watch her, like she's so good. Um, she did a video about how she wanted everything to look more realistic and like she's just everything, like because obviously you see all this like Photoshop, not Photoshop, like Facetune photos and Instagram everywhere or like smoothing filters on videos which I actually never knew existed. Um, but she wanted to be more real and like for you guys to see like the real her like her real skin like the way she really looks and if she has freckles or like spots or whatever like it's fine and i really appreciated that video like i really did and sometimes i feel like even though yeah i am guilty of like face tuning some of my photos but i'm slowly getting away from it because it's true like i don't want to set that image for you guys like i want to be more like I just want you guys to see me the way I am because I'm like everyone I'm not I don't have smooth skin you think I do but I really don't I don't want to make you feel bad like comments like oh I wish I was as pretty as you or stuff like that I really don't like that because you like you're pretty and beautiful in your own way and I have my imper imperfections I have a ton that I <laughs> I some days like I just feel so shit like I feel so shitty about myself and it's important to know that like anyone, no matter how big, how famous or whatever, how like even if you're Kim Kardashian, I'm sure Kim Kardashian has her days where she feels really shit. So like it happens to everyone, you know, and I feel like that message should be put across. So I'm going to try my best to not Photoshop or use FaceTune anymore. I'm actually going to disinstall it now. I'm, I'm just sick of it. And that's why I was getting sick of my camera because the smoothing effect is getting over the top now. Like, I'm just sick of it. I just want it to look more true. Like, who cares if I have a spot? Who cares if my makeup doesn't look perfect? Like, I'm just so, I'm just so, I'm just so over it now to the point where I have, to be honest, I've actually stopped posting for a while on my Instagram. Like, um, normally I posted like twice a day. Um, now I just, I don't know, the last po photo I, I posted was a picture of like, um, a makeup look that I did a while ago which was one of my favourite looks using the Huda Beauty palette but like I posted a picture of my cat but anyways I am guilty of it I don't deny that and there's nothing wrong with it if you want to use face, face tune go ahead but I just feel like Koshal has a point 
in her video and I want to be able to share the same message and encourage, I don't know, help people, at least one person out there to help them feel like, oh like we're all the same, you know. I'm probably rambling on about nothing but that's how I feel. So that's why I started to play with my camera settings because I want it to be more true. I don't want it to be washing me out or too bright and like making my skin look flawless. Like I don't want that. I want it to be true to how it really looks. But this whole time I've just been blending this colour in my crease. Okay, let's change colour now. I'm now going to use Coco, which is this colour right here. Guys, I've been so obsessed with um, Love Island. It's not a joke. Like, I'm so happy that, oh, it's mean to say, but I didn't really like Tyler because, I don't know, she did like, even though I didn't really like Theo and some of the things were to me were just so weird, like he just did stupid things all the time. But you know when Theo left, I kind of felt bad for him because I knew he, you know, it's a good experience and I, I knew he wanted to be there. But like the way Tyler smirked when he left, I was just like, are you being for real? I wouldn't even do that to my worst enemy. I don't know, I just felt like at that moment it was a bit childish of her to do that. Come on, like she, she made such a scene over Johnny and she was over it in a second. Montana was very right, you know. Another thing that I've been obsessed with, it with is power, like, oh what, it's getting so good. And Game of Thrones, oh my god, Game of Thrones is so good. Like straight in the first scene, like it shocks you. Can you see how I'm making it like really smoky? Ooh, look how these eyeshadows blend so nicely. Take the brush that you use with sandalwood and just blend those edges. I kind of like to make the colours diffuse together but the colour I'm going to take is Fling which is this colour right here and I'm going to take this on my brush and pack it right on you see this? just pack it right on and then I'm going to take some fine nip and back uh, primer water and just spritz 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 okay and then just apply that onto your lid Oh, look how stunning that color is. I don't really want that to be a clean line, I just want it to be all like blended. I'm just like tapping the edges just so that it's like a soft kind of transition between like the shimmery and the mattes. I'm also going to take a bit of rose gold which is this colour here with my finger and then I'm just going to like put that on top just to give it like an extra something. I'm going to take some of Bay again and just like kind of clean up this area here because I just feel like the brown went a bit too high that is so pretty you see how this lid is bigger than the other the struggles first thing I'm going to use is some corrector I'm going to use my matte conceal and correct duo I'm going to use the orange side just do a dot here and a dot here because seriously this stuff is pigmented as hell. My pigmentation is fading. But getting rid of pigmentation takes time and you need patience with it. And you need to be consistent with your like methods. That's why I've been holding off doing the pigmentation video because I want to see how long it takes and what products are the best. At, you know getting rid of it oh and I'm using the ordinary foundation in 2.1 Y this is the coverage foundation
I'm now going to use the um, Wet n Wild concealer. I have a review on this, so if you guys want to check it out, you can do. I will link it in the info box. I love that they have a little rabbit on there to let us know that they're cruelty free. Concealer is so damn good. Just spritzing some of my primer water from Nip and Fab on my beauty blender. I'm just going to blend all of that out. Then, because this concealer is not as bright, I like to use some of my Kat Von D loose setting powder. And this is quite light, so I feel like it brightens it a lot. Like, it's like literally white. But it doesn't like go ashy or anything. It's like, it's actually a really nice setting powder because even though like it looks crazy right now, like it does brush away really nicely and it doesn't leave this ashy feel and I've taken a ton of pictures of it there's no flashback whatsoever so I don't really leave that on for too long so what I do is I just brush it off look how it's just like brightened instantly I'm also going to use this Wonder 2 uh, Perfect Selfie Photo Finishing Powder. Um, this is quite bright and I would go easy on this one, but it does kind of like smooth your skin out. And it also brightens a bit, so I like to just put it here on my forehead. I'm now going to use my um, Nip and Fab contour kit. I'm going to grab this colour right here, which is called Soft Honey. I like to always do my hairline. So then it like creates this nice highlighted a bit. Oh, look at my hair. I also like to bring it on the side here and then define my jawbone, which I actually don't really have. I like to add a bit of colour on the sides of my nose. Not necessarily contouring, but just to add colour. And then I'm also going to grab this shade here called Sugar, which is a bright orange. So lightly apply that on my cheeks. Just for... Oh no! What happened there? Okay, I'm just going to take my powder brush. Just remove that a bit. So today, I received these in a post. What they are are uh, loose highlighters, and they're actually called Soda Glows. They are um, uh, Miss Beauty Addict. I don't know if you guys know her, but I'll link her channel in the info box. She created her own makeup line, which is called Beauty Addict, and she has come out with her solar glows which are highlighters um, she sent me sunrise sunset and dusk so thank you I'm out of breath because I went to go get them <laughs> oh let me take a second Whew. so yeah thank you so much Selena for sending me these to try them out um, I swatched them and I'm like I, I literally couldn't wait to try them I had to, I knew I was filming today and I wanted to try them um, today I'm gonna mix sunrise and dusk together so this is Dusk, it's kind of like a bronzy highlight, and this is Sunrise. I'm just going to do Dusk on its own, just to show you guys. So that's when it's dry and I didn't put too much. I'm just going to take some of my primer water and wet it, just ever so slightly. Like, it's like a wet glow. Oh my god. 
oh my god and that's like the bronzy one and like this one's perfect for my skin tone it's just absolutely stunning i'm gonna show you now sunrise just on its own i have dried it oh my lord oh no do you know what's the crazy thing about this it's like without the light it doesn't look great guys can you see that let me put some on Yeah, I really like to mix the two. Like, this is like beaming highlight. I'm not just saying this because I love Selena and her videos and are amazing, but like, she truly like did amazing on these. Like, when I swatch them, it's there's no sparkle. Like, it's a wet kind of highlight, and that's what I love in highlighters. I just don't really like it when it's all sparkly and glitt glittery. Selena, what did you do? I'm gonna be glowing to the high heavens by the end of this video i'm just having so much fun right now i just can't even okay so finally i'm just going to like set my whole face with some primer water oh dear lord like i can't even i just i'm just so shocked at these highlighters let my face dry a bit oh and i forgot to mention these will re retail for 14 pounds each and a bundle of five so all five of them you can get for 50 pounds which is i believe she said like a 20 pound discount on all five um they will be launching on the 27th and also she has a shake or no and 100 percent of the profits will be donated to help fund water pumps wells in developing country which i think is amazing i'm just so proud of her like she's oh my god these are just stunning like i'm i'm all up for supporting like beginning makeup lines especially like for a blogger like a youtuber that's just huge to me so congratulations lena and I, i'm sure it'll do really well like they're amazing i'm glowing i'm gonna grab cocoa from the palette and just like really buff this underneath my lash line i want it to be super smoky so I'm using most of the pressure close to the lash line and as I move outwards, I'm using less. Today I'm gonna to use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is the Intense Black, I always get the Intense Black one. And I'm just really gonna push at the roots because since I haven't curled them, I just might need a little extra help. So for lipstick today, Saturated Colour sent me one of their lipsticks and it's like a pinky colour like this and I wanted to try it out. I'm just applying a bit of liner on my lash line. This one's from Deck of Scarlet. Not neat or anything but I just wanted to add a... You know, just make sure the lashes look a bit thicker. Don't know about this lipstick yet, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna add a lip liner to it. So just give me a sec, I'm just gonna to touch up my lashes before it dries. They did also send me their Make Me Matte. So literally this is a lipstick that makes any lipstick matte and this has a bit of shine to it, so I'm just gonna quickly dust it out. So let's go for it. It kind of looks like this, I'd have used it already. And it did kind of work really well. And it definitely feels more matte. Just let me be back. I need to get a lip pencil. So I got the shade Cork from MAC. I'm just going to use a bit more of that. You can just tell from yourself, like, look how beaming that highlight is. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had fun doing this and having a quick chat with you guys. I don't know how long this video is going to be. All the links will be linked in the info box, as always. Thank you so much for watching, and I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!